Hello, 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 my dear student. This week we will be covering power generation. The objectives of this lesson is plan, build, and refine a device that works with the given constraints to convert one form of energy into another form of energy, to develop and use a model of two objects interacting through electric or magnetic field to illustrate the changes in energy of the object due to the interaction, construct an explanation about the rule of electromagnetic induction uh, in other design devices, including transformers and metal detectors. So, what type of generations uh, have you, generators, have you heard of? You, we all heard of wind turbines, hydropower, hand crank, steam generator, etc. So, We'll start by talking about electric generators, then we will discuss alternating current generator. Simple alternating current generator consists of a wire coil attached to a pair of slip rings which rotate along the, with the coil. Brushes are small conducting components connected to an external electrical circuit that induce a current in the wire causing the loop to rotate. Why are these known as alternating current generators? Because the loop spin with the ring, the direction of the current reverse with each spin. That's why we call it alternating. Voltage generated by AC generator is proportional to the speed of the coil rotation and um, causing the loop to rotate. Then we will discuss the direct current generation. So my question to you, what difference do you notice between the direct current generator and the alternating current generators? The answer is the AC generator had two solid rings and the DC generator has a single split Ring. This is very important differences. Then we'll discuss motors. Motors and um, devices like motor work on the same principle as generators, but in reverse. How motors work compares to the DC generator. The, pad, the battery provides the current to get the coil to spin rather than the magnets inducing a current in the wire. Then we will talk about the EMF, which is the electromotive force, and which is the potential that acts against the voltage driving the motor. Then we will talk about the transformers, which are electrical devices that increase or decrease voltage by means of set of wires, coils. Induction devices also. What are the induction devices? Electromagnetic induction occurs when an electrical conductor is in changing magnetic field. Does a transformer that has more secondary coils than primary coils step the voltage up or down? Of course, it will step it up. Now, metal detectors, on the other hand, also are induction devices. Detectors produce a current that generates an electromotive field. When the electromotive field passes over a metallic object, the object is energized and produce an eddy current that then produce its own electromotive field co causing an induced current in the detector. The detector then makes a sound to indicate the induced current. I hope you will understand this lesson as you have understood all the lessons before and if you have any question don't hesitate to ask. Have a good day everybody.